Hey, well, today I'm at Fragapalooza. It's day two, but I asked a bunch of questions this morning in the early hours, those that are early risers, and I had to ask a bunch of questions, mostly how long people have been at Fragapalooza, what their gamer tag was, and what does it mean behind it? What does Fragapalooza mean to them? And also seeing if there was some favorite memories people can recall of the past events. So we're going to go through these questions. You guys absolutely I want to hear feedback on this type of video and hopefully we can get, do more videos like this in the future. How long have you been at Fragapalooza? Um, I've been at Frag for roughly 11 years, so I've been told. A decade, so 10 years. I have been here since 2006. I think we've been coming about eight years. It's quite a while. Yeah, yeah. started bringing uh, three of the older kids and then now the younger ones are starting to come. Some are sleeping over there. We've got eight of us here this year oh god i think it's i've been coming to fragapalooza for now eight years it's been a while got introduced by the mega fps guys and uh it's been fun ever since and what is your gamer tag and what does it mean or how did it start oh that would be no i don't have it on here i got staff on the back but it's bubba ganoush i spell it differently but it's uh from mxc which is most extreme elimination sports, if you know that. Every time on this, basically a, a comedy from Japan, and it, there was always a Bubba Ganoush, and he always screwed up. Uh, so the meaning behind my gamer tag is it's K's or Kaze, which is win. It's just a lazy win. It's how I play games until I get frustrated anyway. Seven's my lucky number. It all kind of got jumbled together. Uh, I don't really have much meaning in it if i'm honest it's my first gamer tag was something microsoft created when i had my xbox which was chewy hobgoblin so i mean this was definitely a step up if i'm being honest <laughs> so my gamer tag is death by friendly fire and basically it came up between uh, my friends and i playing games and one of our best pastimes is trying different ways to kill each other <laughs> Um, sometimes it's on purpose, sometimes it's not, but, you know, we're having the best time when we're actively trolling each other, killing each other. So that's, that's what that's about. Uh, Devil's Night is my gamer's tag. Um, but I, I used to be a goalie and I'm a fan of the New Jersey Devils, Martin Brodeur, and then it just, I don't know, just became Devil's Night. Oh, Kaidas. Kaidas Flame. I got given Kai Dust when I first moved to Edmonton by a friend a long time ago. It's from a very old game. I can't remember the name off my head, but it's a combination of the two characters, Kai and Dust. What does Fragapalooza mean to you? Uh, for me and my life, Fragapalooza means relaxation and freedom and time with my kids. Because we come and we have a family adventure and uh, spend four or five, well, we come and help do set up, so we end up spending five days here just having fun and relaxing it's people think it's just you're just gonna sit here and stare at screens but it's way more than that there's so much more to do and there's uh like a group of people who are like family you feel safe the kids can hang out and it's a comfortable environment for anyone to be in friends these these are all my friends 2006 i became a group of people that uh i can't wait to get back every year uh, it means just having a good time with my friends, you know, it's a real different experience when something can happen in game and your friends beside you and you can just roll up to them menacingly and stare them down for what they've, the atrocities they have done. Fragapalooza means uh, community, basically. You know, I come here to see everybody else who's into the same thing I am, you know, uh, playing games, playing games with your friends seeing what else is out there and just experiencing it as a, as a group, as a community is, is wicked cool. You know what, Fragapalooza is a great community. It's a place to come and have a great time. This is like a stress reliever for me for middle of the year uh, from, uh, cause I work a high stress uh, environment that has repercussions, unfortunately. This is my, uh, this is my vac mini vacation in between. This is my stress reliever. Be amongst friends, uh, fellow colleagues, uh, great 
individuals that I can learn many things from. Uh, every there's many professions here, but also just enjoy games with uh, people as well, and even uh, discover new games that I never even thought I would consider. And bonus question: What's your favorite thing about Fragapalooza, or your best memory of it? Uh, the games that we play that aren't anything to do with aren't that have nothing to do with uh, uh, actually doing gaming. You go out there and you're. Uh, you've got rock, paper, scissors, airplane toss. We did a, everybody, you sit on your own chair and you push to see how far you can get. Those things were, it brought other people together that don't even game. It, it was a really unique thing that I've ever seen anywhere else. I think it would just be one of the first, it was, I would, I think it was the first year when everybody was set up and every, almost everybody was sleeping underneath, underneath their tables and it was, it was hilarious just to see everybody for a new experience when just coming to it and then just seeing everybody there just 24 hours. Everybody just slept in here. Nobody left. Nobody they just stayed here and enjoyed it. Schwinkter hugs. <laughs> <laughs> um, best, you know what? It's all of it. Every time I come here, it's always a great time. I have fun. I get to be with my friends and buddies and I get to hang with them. A lot of them live in Calgary. A lot of them, they are working all the time and... This is a chance where I get to see everybody again and have a great time and catch up with people. Perfect. Both of you, because I know you're both here. Uh, do you guys have any favorite memories? Oh, there's been some good ones over the years. There was one where Melissa, I can't remember. Oh, Lori killed you. That's what it was. So our friend Lori, Ember49, we were playing, I think, Phasmo. <laughs> and got, yeah, there we go, adjustments, got Melissa killed. And in the back of Lori's camera, you just see Melissa roll up behind her and staring directly over her shoulder menacingly. And Lori didn't know until she looked up to her screen. <laughs> she fucking <laughs> screamed. It was so good. Yeah, no, there's something about seeing, um, you know, when you've act you finally killed your friend on purpose and you can look over and see their reaction and know that you've really you've really hit home like you've done it you've, mm. you've made your dreams come true absolutely <laughs> that and it doesn't hurt if you have a stockpile of snacks and you're just sitting here for oh yeah a day. i mean it's it's the it's you know the teenage dream really hanging out with your friends you got snacks you're just having a good time for days perfect thank you both of you